Hi, and welcome to this Evernote tutorial. My name is Maurice, and I run a blog called LatenLifestyle.com. This is part four of an extra long tutorial that I did. You can watch the full tutorial by clicking in the notes in the description below. Um, or you can just watch this little wee part talking about how you can use tagging with an Evernote to find your notes and also to structure your notes so you can keep your note in different parts. Number three is about using multiple tags. A lot of people move over to multiple tags because you can have greater hierarchy. In other words, you can have one tag, which is your main uh, name, so whether that be uh, house expenses, and then you could have other tags underneath that, so old uh, receipts or old bills, maybe agreements, so you can keep on going and going and going. Also, you can place notes in two different places. And I'll show you what that means. I have my main note, so my main tag, sorry, and I'm going to call one of them house documents, and the other one is birthdays. I have sub tags, just like I had earlier, electricity and house insurance, and also one which is called family. I have my notes, and they are all going into their various places. The difference here is that my electricity agreement needs to be in two places within my organization structure. I want it to also be in a sub tag, which I want it to be called old bills, and I also want it to be in electricity. Because I'm tagging these with two names, that one note appears in two different places. Let me rather show you this to you. So here we are online again. I'm going to go up to my notes, and I'm going to find uh, another idea that I want to work on. Okay, let's have a look down here. I will have my car service, and it's due. I'm going to create a tag here, first of all, for uh, urgent. I'm going to push enter. And I'm also going to give this car tag. And I'm going to give this the tag service. All right. I've given it three tags. Now, if I have a new note which has to do with insurance. So let me put over here insurance details for car. Here are my details. I can do the same here whereby I'm going to create tags for this note. So after I click done, I'm going Okay, uh, what I have now is I have two tags, one for car and one for insurance. Now when we go to tags, you'll see that those tags have been listed down the side here. They are always listed alphabetically, and if I was to click car, it finds both items of notes that I've already tagged. If I go to the first one, you can see it's got car at the top. And if I go to the second one, it's also got car as a tag. If I go back to my tags, and I look here for servicing, there is only one note, and that servicing is for the car service. And I just wanted to show you how a note can now exist in two places, as opposed to only existing in one. So the limitation with your notebook is, I can only have this note, house expenses, in one notebook. With my tag, I can have one note existing in two places, because I've got two tags. Number four, I said, was a combination of filing. And some people use the dump it all in one place, and then they end up sorting it out a little bit later into their notebooks, and they also tag the items to make their system run smoother. This is probably going to be the result of you trialing and erroring various different methods. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go here to my notes. Here are all my notes. I dumped them all yesterday into one place, and I changed them all into an item called stuff. So let me just go down to my notebooks here. I have a notebook called stuff, and I've got 16 notes in there. I have sorted some of those notes already, but essentially most of them are just chucked into one place. If I click on stuff, I could go through the sorting. So insurance details. 
uh, for my car, I would probably need to put into a new notebook. Now my notebooks only exist as far as expenses, someday, and stuff. Where am I going to stick my insurance? Maybe I want to stick them all in the house category. Maybe I want to break down the house category by expenses and add a new notebook. That is really entirely your choice of organizing your Evernote system. Whatever makes logical sense to you is really what you need to go with. And that's why I was suggesting earlier on that you try and get at least 20 to 30 notes first of all, and then begin to see what is the common theme between your notes to create your notebooks. Personally, I think I, the best way to go with uh, stacking your notes for the time being is rather than get too bound up with all these particular stacks and notes, is I'm going to put them all back into stuff. I'm going to delete house by deleting expenses. Because remember, I don't want to lose any notes. I've got someday, I've got stuff. What I'm going to do with stuff is I'm going to change this one more time. So I'm going to go and open stuff. I'm going to go up here to the eye. At the very front of stuff, I'm going to be putting a hash symbol. By putting this hash symbol here, it will mean that my notebook always appears at the top of all my other ones. I'm going to use stuff as my main category for finding things. Every time I save a note, it's always going to go into stuff and I'm going to sort it later. I'm going to have one which says someday. I'm going to have one which is to do with projects. So I'm going to click a plus and I'm going to call this one projects. And there's the things that I'm going to be currently working on. So if I see here now, I've got stuff, projects, and someday. I'm also going to create one which is just reminders. Reminders. And they should be over here. And lastly, my final notebook that I'm going to create is one called reference. And the reference is really going to be my archive. Every time I'm finished with a particular note, and I don't need it anymore, I'm going to shove it into reference. I am going to tag my notes. I'm going to leave my tags as they are right now. And as I go through my notes, you will get to see what each one is. So I've tagged this. It's in stuff. It's my insurance details for my car. I really have an option of storing it in a number of different things. I'm going to put it in reference because I don't need it now, but I do need it just to remember it later on. Let's go to my hobby. My hobby is always a project because I'm always working on it. So I'm going to stick it into projects. A new tag here called shopping. Because down here I said I would like to buy some walking socks. Let's go to movies. I've already changed that to someday earlier on. And I'm not going to add any tag because it's not really important at the moment. My tasks to complete for Evernote. This is in stuff, but actually I'm going to be sticking this in my projects notebook. The reason I'm going to be sticking this in my projects notebook is so that I can find this information because it's something I'm working all together. I'm also going to tag this because this happens to do with tutorials. All right. And I'm very interested in looking for music. So I need to find some music. And I'm going to add one more called outro. Because I like to add new music so that people can hear new things. Now, passwords are very important. We need to try and keep our passwords for our various items, but they do fall under the reference category. It's something that I'm going to refer to every now and again. But I am going to give it a specific label, a specific tag, and I'm going to call these ones passwords. So that I can always go back and find the passwords again. All right. Let's keep going. Our goal. This is something that is also a project that I'm working on. And I'm going to give this tag 
goal. Car service, it's in stuff. It is a project. I'm going to leave that just in projects for now because I would like to remember. This is about Martha and Martha's birthday. So this is really going to be a reference item. I'm going to stick the new tag in reference item. I'm going to just call this one birthdays. All right. I do believe Jim was also a birthday. So we're going to stick him in reference as well. And I'm going to give him a birthday. Now, as you can see, as I type birthday again, birthdays actually came up as a tag. And I can select it by calling birthdays. Let's go down to house expenses. House expenses. This is an ongoing project because I need to see it each week. I'm going to call this expenses. And I'm going to call this house so that I know it has to do with my house. If you've got more than one house, then obviously it means that you need to make this a bit more specific. I also made something to do with food. So I'm going to put this in my reference one. But my tag, I'm going to call recipe. And it was a salad. So I'm going to call it a salad. All right. The Scottish tablet. This is reference as well. I'm going to call this a recipe. So you can see it come up straight away. But this time, this one is a sweet recipe. All right. My shopping list. My shopping list is something that I need to do right away, and it's a project. And I'm going to put here shopping, as you can see. My wish places, wish list of places to go, I've already changed it to someday. And I don't really need to change the new tag because I know exactly what I want to do here. House tags. All right. Uh, house tasks, sorry. For now, this is a project. And I'm going to leave my tags empty because I will look at that later on. My top 10 books. I'm going to leave this in reference because it is a reference. I'm just going to put books. Now, I completed these tasks yesterday, and I have two options that I can do. I can save this in reference, which is more than likely what I'm going to do, so I can refer to this later on. And I'm going to put here Evernote. And I'm going to put here Tutorial, so that I know when I'm looking for my tutorial notes, I can see and I can refer back to what I looked at. This is one of the first few notes that we made earlier on. My Evernote tutorial for episode four. Again, this is just reference because I've already finished it. And I'm going to make sure it just says tutorial and it's going to be Evernote. Lastly, but not leastly, my shopping list is on Friday. I already did all these items. And I don't need them anymore. So I'm going to delete that item. All right, let's have a look at what this looks like now. If I go to my notebooks, if I go to my main folder that I'm saving new notes in, there's nothing there anymore. If I go back to my notebooks and I go to my projects, currently I have a few things that I'm doing and that I need to keep an eye on. If I go back to my reference, these are items I no longer need to worry about. They're there and they're saved for me to remember. I can go back to them at any time. So I can change my notebooks as often as I like. I can move them around. But bear in mind, I can't hold one note when I'm using a notebook in two places. And then my someday notes are still there. And if I go back, I have some trash. If I look at my tags now, my tags are starting to build out quite nicely. And if I wanted to find a salad to make, I have a recipe for a Capri salad. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found something useful out of it. Uh, it would be great if you could subscribe and uh, post some comments below. Have a great day. Cheers.